Hello parents, this is a special message for you from your principal and a fellow ESM parent. We're completing our third week of remote learning. This isn't what any of us are used to, and it would be fair to say that this is not what any of us wanted the fourth quarter of the school year to look like. I'm sharing this message with you on a pretty but cold morning out on my back porch because just inside the house, I have five kids of my own spread out on every available flat space right now online working on remote learning. So please know I'm in the trenches with you. While I'm very proud of our teachers' efforts, the excellent lessons they are providing and the ways that many of our students are eagerly diving in, working hard and continuing learning, none of us went into this year planning for or expecting it to end this way. So let's just acknowledge that. ESM isn't a virtual school. You would much rather be stopping by Union or Getz this morning, and our teachers would prefer to eagerly receive your child in class right now. This brings to mind a statement a friend shared with me recently. Life is hard. God is good. I pray that as anxiety, worry, and frustra frustration may creep in, that you can fall back into the strong and loving arms of our Savior and trust that God is good all the time. And even in this, there is opportunity for growth. So let me say again, I'm proud of the learning and creativity your children are demonstrating. There have been some outstanding responses by students. Our teachers and students are doing great work. Keep it up. Your commitment to each other and raising these kids with education for life and faith for eternity is what makes ESM special. Since one of the closely held values of Christian education is being a lifelong learner, the disruption COVID-19 has caused can become an opportunity for growth in self-discipline, new technology skills, and a growth in confidence for independent learning for the future. We recognize that remote learning has unique challenges, and it is just not the same as in-class lessons. Teachers will continue to evaluate your child's submitted work, their performance on assessments, and the academic progress made during this remote learning period. What your child is accomplishing and the learning acquired is highly valued. But we want to acknowledge that the assessment of that learning is just not the same as the, pre as the previous three normal quarters for a variety of reasons. First, there will be more anxiety as students try to maintain the same grade expectations they have for themselves. We want to reduce that anxiety that students may feel when learning becomes difficult and take the focus off, off achieving a letter grade and keep the focus more on the learning. Second, teachers simply will not be able to receive the same daily assessment information as they would during in-school instruction. And third, our staff believes there needs to be additional flexibility when it comes to providing student feedback. So, for the fourth quarter of this academic year, ESM will implement a new grading scale that is weighted towards student engagement in the learning process and the learning itself. Performance and timely completion of assigned work will still be measured. However, we hope that the scale's flexibility will help overcome the unique challenges each student may face. For students in grades 3 to 8, grades will continue to be entered into the school, Sycamore School Information System, and parents will have access to their child's gradebook beginning Friday afternoon, as they did throughout this year. The new scale implements an OSNU grade. O is for outstanding, S satisfactory, N needs improvement, and U unsatisfactory. The scale is weighted towards satisfactory, but you'll continue to see your child's percentage performance within the gradebook. And the changes with this quarter, or with the changes for this quarter, we will not factor into overall cumulative GPA. This just isn't the same as an in-school quarter. Finally, and thank you for hanging in with me for a long message today, there is some other important information that I will share with you next week. Right now, school leadership is working on a plan for remote learning that will continue into May and the ways that we will bring this school year to a close. We are also preparing ways that those of you who have been hard hit by change in household income can apply for additional tuition assistance. We are here for you. Our partnership, while strained by distance and disruption, is still valued. This may not be the planned route towards the end of a school year, but we can trust that God is good all the time. And all the time, God is good. Easter blessings to you and your family this upcoming weekend. And I look forward to sharing with you more information next week as it becomes available. God's blessings.